Hey guys, Andrew here, and it's been a while since I've said that because we've had about a week or two off the channel. Uh, reason being, um, yeah, I actually had COVID, yeah. I didn't think I was ever going to get it, but I did get it. And let me just tell you how easy it is, right? I went out once in about three weeks. I did. I went to the shops and I got it clearly on a bus on my way to the shops. What can you do, eh? Uh, I'm over it now and I've tested negative three times, so that means I can officially leave the house and I want to start making videos again because I'm feeling better. And let's start with today's video is going to be a simple concept to ease us back in. Team of the year. Yeah, it's going to be a big one because I've made a few very controversial picks for my team of the year. Beginning with my goalkeeper. Now, this was a straight up between two. Donnarumma or Mendy. Both have been sensational this season. I've gone for Donnarumma. The reason why is... Now, Mendy's been brilliant at Chelsea. I just think without Donnarumma, there wouldn't have been any Italy Euro win. I feel like he won the player of the year. Not player of the year, player of the tournament. If you win the player of the tournament at the Euros, you're nearly guaranteed a place in the team of the year you should be. He's got to be in it for me. And he got a huge transfer to PSG. He's been quite good this year. He's been really decent and deserves his place in this team of the year. So, well done. My Now, full backs. Now, I've gone for Trent and Cancelo. It's not even close. Akimi may be an outside shout, but Trent and Cancelo nailed these two fullback positions. Trent's been getting better and better. I know he was not the Euros, but he's still been brilliant this year, in my opinion. He's improved a lot. Even though Liverpool won nothing, he was really good and deserves his place. As for Cancelo, won the league with Man City. He's been brilliant this year. Can play right back or left back. And yeah, he's been brilliant, Cancelo, and helped Man City do it. Now, under the centre-backs. Now, I'm going to start this off with the obvious choice, which is Ruben Diaz, who was brilliant for Man City, huge part of the winning league campaign, deserves his place in this team. This second centre-back was very hard because I've gone for Rudiger, but my point is being, yes, Rudiger has improved, but I just don't see how someone was that good. Like, there wasn't any, like, oh, they've got to be the two centre-backs. Anyone could have been Diaz's partner. I mean, I nearly went Cialini, but I just feel like his performances at Juventus held him back a bit from that. He was really good in the Euros, but, you know, you need a good league campaign and good stuff, and Cialini didn't give it, so sorry. I've gone for Rudiger, who was brilliant in Chelsea's Champions League campaign. Probably Germany's best player at the Euros, even though they didn't do great. So I've gone for him, and yeah. Now, on to the midfield. This midfield is going to be the, the maybe the worst team of the year midfield ever. But I feel like these players have ever meant them. Only one of them, I can say, hands down, deserves to be in it. And that's Kante. Kante, you've got to have Kante in your team of the year. He's been sensational. Really good. Best midfielder on the planet. And brilliant for the role. Yes, he wasn't great with France. But he'd already, by May, he'd already confirmed his place. With the FA Cup and Champions League, he'd already confirmed his place in the team of the year. Truly deserved. Was even talk about him winning the Ballon d'Or. How mad is that? But it didn't happen, obviously. And yeah. And now under the two midfielders I've gone for. Now there was a few shouts. I could have, you know, listened to it and Bruno, De Bruyne. Don't think they were at their best this year. I've got to be honest. I'm putting either of them in. Um, I've gone for Jorginho as one of them. And I know what you're thinking, Jorginho, yes, he won a lot, but was he that good to be in it? 
Probably not, but the reason I've gone for him is he's improved a lot this year. He really has improved. And for the improvement alone, I'll put him in. He has been a big part of Chelsea's and Inter, not Inter, Chelsea's and um, Italy's midfield this year. He's been big for them. And I feel like he's earned that place in it just about, but could be very controversial now. My last midfield place, this was between two, and I couldn't separate them. Uh, Modric was one of them. Now, the other one is someone who I don't think they have gotten mentioned enough. Barella. I've gone for him, actually. I've put Barella in. A huge shock. Why have I gone for Barella? Um, brilliant for Inter Milan. Sensational in that Inter midfield that won the league. Brilliant for Italy as well. He's just been he's been really good and has gone under people's radar but because he's not like a big well known player, but he's been worth the place in my opinion. He's not gonna get it. I know Barella isn't. Bruno will probably get this place and Modric will probably get Jorginho's. But I'm just saying that I think he deserves a place in the team of the year. Shock people, I don't know, and yeah. Now under the attack um, let's not, you know, go all, all dramatic and all that, right? Lewandowski and Messi are both in. Come on. It's obvious. Both of them have been brilliant and have earned the, the amount of goals Lewandowski's been scoring. Messi's been not good. I'm going to be honest here. I don't think Messi's had been that good, but the reason Messi's in that Copa America campaign. You've got to have an Argentina player in. And he's been brilliant for them. I don't think Messi deserved the Ballon d'Or. I think Lewandowski did. But I can't. You don't know how good Messi was in the Copa America. And yeah, he's earned it. I think another place in. And fair play to Messi. And the other last position. A lot of really good attacking. Balanich for Fontaine, maybe an outside shout. Um, Benzema has been sensational for Real Madrid. Salah for Liverpool. There's loads of them. Loads of players you could have put in here. And I've gone for Salah. Because Salah's been scoring goals for fun. Maybe he wasn't quite good in the first few months. But I don't know. I just, I've, just, I've gone for Salah because I feel like. The way he's come back and helped Liverpool at the end of last year. I think he's been good enough just to squeeze in ahead of Benzema. But Benzema, right, is my 12th player. And a lot of you will notice. Big name player, I've not mentioned. No Cristiano Ronaldo. Where is he? I haven't gone for him because I feel like, yes, he's been quite good for United. But Portugal and Juventus, he was... Not himself, he wasn't that great. And he's been edged out, unfortunately. If he had a good Euro campaign, he probably would have been in. But because he didn't, I'm sorry, I can't add him in. And I've gone for, you know, Salah instead. and Maybe a bit harsh, and yeah. Anyway, that is my team of the year. And what, what will we do in this year? What videos? As I said, I really want to start streaming. So I'm going to be trying to figure out all about that and stuff. I want to come up with some ideas. Because we're still a good bit away from the League of Ireland season starting. About two months away. Need to come up with ideas. And I'm going to come up with a few ideas. And yeah. Uh, if you've got any ideas, leave them in the comments below. Have some FIFA ideas or thing is about FIFA, right? Is I'd have to figure out how to have a camera up while I'm playing. If any of you actually know what equipment to use, message me, DM me, and yeah, follow me on Instagram at Andy underscore by underscore the underscore way. And we can talk there about my team of the year and yeah, leave it in the comments what you guys think about your team of the years and yeah. Anyway, it's been me. I'll see you next time.